Happy Halloween, everybody, and welcome to The Icing Artist. So today we're making a Barbie zombie cake. So I've started off with a 10 inch round cake and then a Wonder Mold cake, which is just kind of the cake that we're gonna use for her dress. I'm gonna fill it using some buttercream icing. And for all of my recipes, you can go to theicingartist.com. I've got free printable versions there. I'm just gonna cut out a hole in the center of the dress so that way my Barbie can kind of insert right into it. Pull out some of that extra cake. And now I'm gonna start carving it down. Now I decided to use a 10 inch cake on the bottom just to give the dress a little bit more height because the Barbie's a little bit too tall for it. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit more curve here and really just kind of carve out the dress for the shape that I'm kind of going for. I decided to give the front a little bit more of a flat look so that way the back kind of flared out more. Kind of like the dress has a train. And I'm just going to pipe on a thin coat of buttercream icing. And this is just for my crumb coat because we're going to be covering this cake in fondant. Now of course you can do this cake in buttercream instead of fondant but I really wanted to do fondant so I could kind of rip and tear the dress away and really paint it and make it look a lot more I don't know, rustic, kind of zombie-like. So using my Ausbett spatula, I'm just going to smooth out the icing. And then using a piece of paper towel, I'm just gonna rub that over the cake and pull it away gently. And that's gonna give me a nice smooth finish. And you don't need to let your icing crust. It should be able to smooth out right away. I'm just gonna mist it with some water so my fondant will stick to it. And I'm gonna get my Barbie ready to go so that way when I cover my cake, I can just put her right into it. I'm gonna wrap her in saran wrap, but then using some gel paste, I'm just going to wet the front and back of her shirt so I can cover it in fondant. And I'm gonna roll out my fondant, nice and thin, and then just kinda of cut out the shape of a shirt. Now, of course, if you can find a Barbie that already has a white top on, this would be a lot easier but I found this one, so I'm gonna make her a shirt out of fondant. And I'm just kinda of cutting it away and cutting it away until I can come up with a good shape that'll work well for her top that'll cover up the blue. And then I'm just gonna lay it on top, make sure all of that blue is covered up, and the gel paste will help the fondant stick to her dress, so it will stick to her body so it won't fall off. And I'm gonna make these little pieces for her straps, kind of ruffle them together a little bit. Just place those right on top. And for our cake, you are going to need about four pounds of fondant. I'm gonna roll that out just using some icing sugar so my fondant doesn't stick to my table. Roll that around my rolling pin and then roll that back over my cake. Now because this is a dress cake, you really don't want your fondant to be really nice and tight and smooth to your cake. So instead of pulling it out and making it smooth, you wanna leave a lot of these ruffles in it so it looks like the dress is kind of ruffling around her. But don't worry about it being perfect because we're gonna rough it up a little bit anyways later. I'm just gonna trim off the excess. And then instead of having a nice smooth cut around her dress, I wanna make it look like her dress has been dragged through the mud and it's all ripped and torn. So I'm just pinching and pulling and just kind of tearing away the bottom all the way around her dress. So of course, we're not doing a bride, we're doing a dead zombie bride for Halloween. So we have to rough her up a little bit. I'm just going to make a little cut in the center and then stick my Barbie right in. And then kind of tightly push all the fondant around her dress. Now it's time to really make her look like a dead zombie. So I'm really just pinching and pushing and pulling and this is really going to add a lot of texture to her dress because I don't want it to look nice like it's flowing down. I want it to look like this dress has kind of been through hell. 
So I'm just using my nails and kind of making these little tear marks, these little scratch marks. And as you're kind of kneading kind of the fondant into her dress, you're gonna make it have a lot of texture. Now I'm using a white icing color and I'm just gonna put a very small amount on my paintbrush and then start painting her face. So we've started out with this kind of just plain Barbie we got from the store and now I'm gonna paint it to look more like a zombie. So I want her skin tone to be nice and pale. Once I've added the white color on, I'm just gonna take a lot of the excess off just using a dry brush. I'm gonna do this to her face and her chest and her arms. Just to really give her that more of a pale, dead look. And that's gonna act as our primer. So now using maroon food coloring and a little bit of alcohol, I'm just gonna paint that on top of her eyes. Maroon's gonna give us that kind of irritated look or that dry blood look, depending on what we do. So again, I'm using a dry brush and just taking some of the excess off. I can use just straight alcohol or water to take any of the color off of the plastic but I'm gonna add in a little bit of red into her eyes to make them look a little bit more bloodshot and then a little redness underneath her eye. Just adding all these different accents into her face to make her really look dead and zombie-like and creepy-like. Adding a touch of black underneath so it makes her have these big bags. And have fun with it. Kind of give her whatever kind of details that you want to to make her look more dead and zombie-like. I'm gonna add some maroon around her lips to make it look like there's dried blood, kind of that she's been <laughs> eating somebody. Dripping down her face a little bit. And then I'm gonna add red food coloring to make it more look like fresh blood. So you're really looking to layer these up with a few different colors. Today I'm using white, maroon, red, black, and brown. Again, just a little bit more red. Now I want to make it look like she has a big zombie bite kind of missing from her shoulder. So I've added some gel paste and then some skin tone fondant and that's going to stick my fondant to the Barbie. And I'm just going to kind of smooth it around her shoulder and then start tearing it away. So I want to create almost a crevice in the center and then for the skin to be torn up. So it makes it look like there's actually a piece missing from her shoulder. You can use different tools or even a toothpick or something to help you kind of stretch the skin out. Looks funny now, but we're gonna paint it up. So using black in the center, that's gonna give me depth. That's gonna make it look like a big, deep kind of bite in her shoulder. Again, I'm gonna use some maroon around the cut and just on her skin and stuff because you wouldn't just have it on the skin. It would be like, well, you'd have you know, blood everywhere if you had been bit by a zombie. And we're gonna color the skin tone. And as you can see, as we've painted the Barbie and then the fondant, it kind of matches in together and you can't really tell that we've added a new piece on. Some more dried blood around her arm and her dress. If you guys aren't currently subscribed to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button because I do put up lots of different cake decorating videos every week. And stay tuned to the end of the video because I will have a link for another zombie cake I made last Halloween. I'm just gonna put some blood dripping down her shirt. And now for the bottom of her dress. I wanna make this dress look like she has been basically walking through the woods in the mud. So using black and brown and I've just diluted that a little bit with alcohol. The alcohol is going to evaporate and just leave the colors on the plastic and on the dress. So I'm just going to kind of paint the bottom of her dress to make it look really mudded up. And of course it wouldn't just be on the bottom so I'm going to add a little bit more dirt around the dress. And then using more alcohol, just to dilute it more, I'm gonna kind of brush it up as if the dress is, has been soaking up the mud. So it just looks like it's kind of seeping up the dress a little bit. And 
The nice thing about this cake is everything is 100% edible. So all you'd have to do is pull out your Barbie and then slice up your cake and you're ready for your Halloween party. I'm gonna add a little bit of blood. So just red food coloring at the bottom of her dress. Just to give it a little bit something else. <laughs> And more blood around her dress. And now for her hair. I did her hair half up and half down, so I just put a little tie into it. And now I'm going to really pull it and piece it away so it looks like her hair is all messed up. I've added some more gel paste onto my fingers, and I'm just going to scrunch that into her hair. And that really makes the hair stick up and stick out and look all, I don't know, <laughs> messed up like a zombie bride. I'm going to add some more blood onto her hands. And that's it. She's looking pretty spooky. Bye. I had so much fun making this cake. I had a lot of fun designing it and making it. I thought she turned out really good with a big kind of chunk missing out of her shoulder, which is perfect for like the new Walking Dead premiere that started this week for the new season. And I, I also really wanted to do another big zombie cake this year, but I thought that I would change it up a little bit and do a dead bride. I was also like a dead bride four years in a row for Halloween growing up. So I hope you guys really enjoyed what I came up with. Don't forget to check out my other great Bye. Halloween videos because I've got lots of them going on in my channel. You're not going to want to miss them. And if you're not currently subscribed to my channel, you're definitely going to want to subscribe because I do put out new great videos every week and you're not going to want to miss them. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy Halloween.